Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be comparing the Ford Maverick to the Ford Ranger. These two particular trucks have the same MSRP price, well, pretty close, and so we're going to see if you should go Ranger or Maverick for the same amount of money. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Super Ford here in Salt Lake for some time with both of these trucks. Link to their inventory in the description down below. If you have any questions, just ask for Jaden, and then I'll also include a link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.3 liter four cylinder that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 20 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs, being 270 horsepower and then 310 pound feet of torque. Now, powering the Maverick is a turbocharged two liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 20 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs, being 250 horsepower and then 277 pound feet of torque. Before we move forward with this comparison, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the Ranger, this is a Sport with the XLT package. Again, similar price to what you have over there with the Maverick. But you can see we've got lots of gray trim here on the front end. We've got the Ranger signature C-shape with the lights. And then we've got a little air dam here at the bottom. Recovery points there as well. But yeah, it definitely has a uh, very truck-like look. And you pop over to the Maverick and C-shaped lights. Now this one has the Tremor package. You can get quite a bit more with the Maverick compared to the Ranger at a similar price point. So you've got the gold recovery points there which look really cool. And it's just kind of like a darker theme for the front end. Notice that there's not any silver on the Maverick compared to what you have over at the Ranger. Now, turn wheel setup with the Ranger is 255 by 70 by 17 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, you've got the metallic gray. And then pretty cool with the tire setup. Got the painted fender flares here, XLT badge on the side. And then the Ranger has leaf springs in the back, solid rear axle. Something to mention at this point, the Ranger is body on frame as well. So it's kind of more of a traditional truck setup. Now with the Maverick, our tire wheel setup is 235 by 65 by 17 in the front and over in the rear. You can see metallic gray for the wheels. You got the gold there around the valve stem, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but independent suspension in the front and in the rear. And then this is unibody. So this is more similar to you know one of these crossovers than it is to the Ranger when it comes to construction. Now it's time to compare beds with the trucks. So with the Maverick, you do have to lower down the tailgate yourself, but you can see protection here from the factory. We also have tie downs here. Got this for an outlet, LED light as well. But yeah, plenty of storage space in the Maverick bed. Um, but something to note is it is shorter than the bed over here in the Ranger, which will pop down the tailgate. Apparently it's locked. Well, now that it's unlocked, it is dampened, so you don't have to lower it down yourself like the Maverick. Two outlets. It's pretty cool. Protection, just like the Maverick. So that's nice. Bit more space, though. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. But look at the Maverick bed. Like the width and the length versus the range of the Ranger's beds. A little bit longer, a little bit wider as well. Now I am kind of cramped back here, but you can see the Maverick there. Pretty boxy with the design, got the tremor decal and all that. And then with the Ranger, kind of just looks like a bigger version of the Maverick at the back end. A little bit different with the style, but yeah, it's kind of just like the big brother. Now inside of the Maverick uh, legroom, I mean, it's tight, but I fit. Got a little storage pocket here. Blue is the theme. Look at the door panel and down below. And then you can see with the seats, we've got more of it like gold throughout as part of this tremor package. Uh, and the headroom back here is really good. Now the back of the Ranger, I definitely have a little bit more room here uh, for my legs and all of that. And this is gonna be a little bit more basic with the door panel. You can see the trim there. And then we've got the stitching and everything down below. And then we do have cloth seats here in the Ranger. You can see all of that trim right there. And then it's actually manual with the window in the back with this one. Uh, and then headroom's good. Uh, something to mention is it does take a little bit more to get into this, it's a little bit higher up. So let's take a look at the door panel here in the Maverick. You can see it's the blue and then the soft touch down below. That whole setup. Blind spot room with the mirrors, by the way. We've got 1,148 pounds of payload. Tremor there. 
Let's see what the rest of the seat trim. Power adjustments on the side. Um, also, 4,000 pounds is max towing on the Maverick. So there is that. And stop start buttons right here. Pretty cool with the gauge cluster there. So nice little look. Nice trim all around the steering wheel as well. You got practical controls, including your adaptive cruise control there. And then we've got a regular backup camera with this. And then you have Ford's like modern system in a way, but it's just with the smaller unit. The plastic is not letting me. There you go. It kind of picked up my finger now. Plastic kind of gets in the way. But you got some analog controls down below that. Dual zone climate, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then power sliding rear window. So that whole setup is power. And then you can see with the transmission select there, parking brake, and then we've got all of our drive modes. And then this does have a four wheel drive system and then has like a faux locking rear differential. So it has a twin clutch system that mimics a rear locker, offered cruise control as well. You can see the nice trim here, good storage. And then again with the trim all on the dash. Uh, and then the MSRP on this is 39,000. So basically just under 40,000. Now take a look at the front door panel with the range. We've got some soft touch down below. All of our window controls here. You can see the mirrors do power fold in. We also have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. Payload capacity on this, 1,678 pounds. Um, towing capacity, 7,500 is the max on the Ranger, so quite a bit more than the Maverick. And then cloth seats at the front, they are manually adjustable. Got to have your light controls. And then with this, I actually have to dig into my pocket because we got one of these. So the Maverick, right, had that push button. This is normal key. But it's still like a digital gauge cluster. So that's pretty cool. You can see we still have cruise control. And then just a regular backup camera. Bigger screen than we have in the Maverick. And you can see all the climate control and everything with the vent. Single zone climate, just like the Maverick. No heated seats or anything with this one. Um, and then if this does have it doesn't look like it has any of that. Um, but yeah, quick response to everything for the system. And then we've got that for the USBs. And then you can see here with the shifter, the 10 speed. Parking brake down below. And then you can see the auto stop start. That's for the drive modes, stability control. And then just a traditional two speed transfer case. Storage, nice trim on the top of this. And then I like this with the trim. And then you can see the glove box too. Above it, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then sunglass holder, and then with the MSRP in this one, it's just over 40000 So with that being said, let's take them out and see how they drive. Well, let's talk about visibility on the range before we set off. There's over the hood, both the mirrors. Do a blind spot and they're at the rear. Let us set off in the Ranger that is very, very reasonably priced for a mid-sized pickup truck in the world where it seems like all the mid-sized pickup trucks are now $50,000. This thing at $40,000. Pretty reasonable in this crazy, crazy world. Good torque. Ooh, yeah, that 2.3 is a monster. It is a monster, that is for sure. I'm gonna lean this back a little bit so you guys can get a better view. But yeah, it's got really impressive power. Smooth too, with its 10 speed. It knows exactly where to put everything. And this does, you know, drives like a traditional truck again. You got leaf springs in the back, you got body on frame construction so it, it has that kind of it's not super bumpy but you got that kind of you know bumpy isolated truck feel that i personally like <laughs> seems like there's a uh, battle going on right now of people comparing you know unibody to body on frame that was a cool audi, audi r8 by the way but yeah some people are like oh unibody's more comfortable and some people are like body on frames more comfortable i'm in the camp of Unibody is only comfortable over perfect smooth pavement. The second you add even a single bump, body and frame wins every single time. Because it just soaks it up so much better because you have that isolation. Yeah, the vehicle might 
you know, go all wishy-washy a little bit more than a unibody, but don't sound like the uh, car is going to explode because you just went over a pothole. <laughs> this 2.3 is so impressive. Yeah, it feels like it's got more than the 270 horsepower that this says that it has. So, something's up. I think this is a great package on the Ranger and at about $40,000 it's a really good value. It's a really good value in the midsize pickup truck market where, you know, you want a somewhat similar package to this in Toyota, you're going to spend minimum $3,000 more, but you don't really get a super comparable package because you're going to have like the SR5 with the Tacoma versus this is the Sport. So like, yeah, Ford's just, Ford's just killing it with the value game with this new Ranger. So, setting up in the Maverick, when it comes to visibility, I think it might be uh, some, pretty similar to the Ranger. I mean, you're lower to the ground, but pretty pretty similar. They, I feel like they have the seat, because the vehicle itself is lower, they set the seat up higher, I think, to give you a more commanding position so you feel like you're in a real truck, even though it's a, basically a crossover with a truck bed. Now let's see how these engines compare. Not bad. Definitely prefer the 2.3. The 2.3 feels like a very torquey, punchy four-cylinder. This feels like a normal turbo four-cylinder where it's, you gotta get into it a bit to get it to get up and move. It's not bad, but yeah, the, you, there's no replacement for displacement. And that's with four cylinders, with V6s, V8s, it doesn't matter what it is. Now, yeah, going over the bumps, this Tremor package actually does pretty dang well. It's still not as isolated as what you have with that Ranger being body on frame. But this is pretty darn good for a unibody constructed vehicle. The independent suspension makes the turning radius, and this is a shorter vehicle overall, but yeah, the independent suspension also makes the turning radius a little bit sharper. It's a little bit easier to maneuver in tight spaces. I always forget how long this parking lot is. <laughs> it goes on forever. But the next thing is going to be another acceleration here. Yeah, it's not bad. Again, I, I definitely prefer that 2.3 to this engine when it comes to acceleration. But yeah, it drives well. So, some things of this comparison. Uh, and, you know, I, I could have done it a different way. I could have done like like to like packages because you can get a Maverick XLT for like 30 grand. So $10,000 less. But I figured I'd do like to like pricing so you can see how loaded up you can get with a Maverick for a similar price to what you have over there with that ranger i think it depends on what you're looking for so if you're gonna do real i made a mistake should have gone in that driveway anyways if you're gonna do real truck stuff all the time off-roading and towing and hauling yeah the ranger is going to be the better one to go for if you're going to use the vehicle mainly as a commuter and you're occasionally going to throw stuff in the bed you're occasionally going to maybe go down some dirt roads nothing too crazy with the off-roading again this can handle quite a bit with the storm package but nothing too crazy and then yeah this is going to give you more creature comforts for you know similar money to what you're basically getting a base ranger there almost and so yeah it, it depends on what you're looking for if you're looking for a car with a truck bed that's the maverick if you're looking for a real truck that's a ranger and that's I'm not and I'm not saying that in an offensive way. That's just what it comes down to. And I think I think the Maverick's really cool. I mean, this outsells the Tacoma. If you didn't know that, this is more popular than the Tacoma currently. So I think it's I think it's a cool vehicle. I think that it's a niche that you know I'm I'm glad that Ford is meeting it. But let me know what you guys think about Ranger versus Maverick. Which one would you go with? <laughs>